Am I the arsehole? For wanting my own room? I and my fiancé are moving into a small three-bedroom house together in a couple of months. I had never had my own room growing up and share a room with a roommate in my current living situation to save up money. I always felt the need to share and felt guilty when I wanted to be alone in my room but couldn't since someone else was there. The only time I had a room all to myself was when my roommate or sibling was away. Even so, I didn't feel like I truly had a room to myself. When discussing the use for one of the spare rooms in our soon-to-be house, I mentioned wanting to turn it into a bedroom for myself when I want to be alone. My fiancé was confused and said he wanted to use the spare room for an at-home gym instead. The other spare room will be an office for when my fiancé needs to work from home. I argued that he already has a claim over one of the spare rooms and I should be allowed to use the other one for myself. I told him that I was looking forward to having a space all to myself, where I can be alone when I want, and am the only person that has access to. He argued that the point of moving in together was to share everything with each other and not just coexist in the same space. He said he would change his mind on wanting a gym if we agreed to turn the second room into a guest bedroom that both of us can use when we want to be in our own space. I feel like I would still be sharing. If I have a room to myself to use and he wants to be alone at times, I can just go into my own room, and give him the space he wants. We would be splitting expenses 50-50 so I don't think I am being that unreasonable. Am I the arsehole? For wanting to have my own room? Just call it your office. It's very bold of him to claim one room for himself and also want to dictate the use of the other room. He gets an office, you get an office. He can put his gym in his office if he wants. Easy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I don't get people saying otherwise he's getting an office all to himself, also wanted a gym for himself, but says it's selfish for you to want a room for you? You can have a bed in one of the rooms that guests can sleep in while still not sharing it. There's nothing wrong with couples having space for themselves. Don't let people shame you for wanting it and certainly don't let him tell you it's okay for him to have his own too but not you. Not the asshole. But I think you need to live by yourself for at least a year if you can. You've gone from living at home to living with a roommate to living with your fiancé. You've never had a space that is 100 your own. Not the asshole. Three bedrooms. One shared and one each is fair. He wants one shared and two all his. He is being selfish. He can put some workout things in his office if he's space to decide. Stand your your own space is perfectly reasonable. Not the asshole. I feel like men having their own rooms man cave, office, gym is so normalized, yet when women want one it's a whole ass thing. If you need a guest bedroom, maybe you can work it into a little part-time office space for yourself and a guest room as needed. Or maybe he can do the same with the gym. But otherwise it's a him problem. Info. Is the office space meant to be shared? Or is this his space? Honestly, I don't think you are ready to move in. Maybe live by yourself for a while. You all aren't ready to move in together. All the he's abusive comments are kind of crazy. It's the fact that you want your own bedroom that he's hung up on. Not that you want use of the space. The office and a gym would be very shared spaces. I don't know why commenters think only men use home gyms. You want a no boyfriend allowed bedroom, that's what is getting at him. You need to live alone for a while. You're not unreasonable for wanting use of the second spare bedroom. However, demanding he not have access to the room is not acceptable. No one should be banned from spaces in their own home. And I can't blame him for being upset that you want to use it as a bedroom, and to sleep separately, even if it's only some nights. Most people want and expect to share a bed with their partner. This would be a deal breaker for me personally. Not the asshole married almost 20 years and hubby and I have our own spaces in the house. This is totally healthy, you don't need to share everything. Just because you are part of a we, doesn't mean you have to give up also being a you. 
Up is there any way you can put off moving in together for a year or two? I think having a room of your own all for yourself will do wonders for you for the rest of your life. If not, may I suggest a compromise that works for my friends? You both get your own room, and the third is the office guest room. You can sleep together on the days you want to, either in his own yours, and have your own space the rest of the time. You aren't ready for a fiancé yet. You are still facing your own version of childhood tremor. You need to postpone your relationship, and learn how to be your own adult without having to share anything. You are going to be resentful of your fiancé if you don't. Nah, but if you want a space of your own maybe living on your own for a while is a better option. I am not saying break up, but give time to experience life in your own for a while before committing to a long-term thing like buying a house. You are not ready to be married. Not the asshole. He can have his room, but the third room is shared. That's B.S. He gets to change one room in a gym or his office. You get to change one room into your space. End of discussion. You're moving in together too soon. You're not ready for this. Not the asshole. Two extra rooms, you each get a room. It's fair. Not the asshole. Wow, he says that you should share everything with each other then he commandeers the extra two bedrooms for himself. What a jerk. You are an equal partner and if he uses one as an office, you should be able to get the other as a bedroom, craft room, or whatever else you want to do with it. If he wants an extra bed for himself, tell him to buy a foot on a Ikea and put it in his office. But also consider that you may have to give up the spare bedroom if guests stay over so that is your only compromise. Sounds like you two shouldn't be getting married. I don't think either of you is being unreasonable but the fact that it's an issue seems to speak on your compatibility. ESH. He shouldn't have assumed he could decide what happens with the other two rooms. But you can't deny him access to a room, that's weird and unreasonable. Making it a bedroom which you can use for when you need alone time, but also doubles as a guest bedroom, is a very fair compromise. Not the asshole. I'm a huge advocate that even couples need their own space to be in sometimes. It's very codependent to share everything all the time. Not the asshole, it's fair. Maybe don't phrase it as your own bedroom. Are you thinking of sleeping in there or is it about having your own space? Do you want need a bed in there or just a comfy room of your own where you can relax? He has his office, you can have your own space too. Esh neither of you can unliterally decide what to do with the room. Three rooms, one you share, and you each get another one. Your fiancé has decided on an office. You want your own personal space. I don't think you're unreasonable. Tell him he can get the tax write off for an at home office. Not the asshole. 50 50 means he gets one spare bedroom, and you get one spare bedroom. You can each do what you want with your spare room. Not the asshole. If you're so desperate to have your own space, you shouldn't move in together until you've lived on your own for a while without a roommate and gone through some therapy.